We jump into another one of these 83s, and surprise, surprise, it's a blue one. Uh, obviously, the blue deal we talked about, uh, you know, they love making blues, and I think if uh, Darren and Laura could make all blues, they would, but that's just not how God works at the end of the day. Uh, this 83.6, uh, I think, is probably combines, uh, you know, some of the 83s and some of the 86s that we would have seen here earlier. Uh, height to shoulder and presence from the side are so, so good. Uh, hind leg structure and just uh, mobility is very, very good. I think a very nice crossbred gill. Brant, what do you think of this one? Yeah, 83.6. So we just got done talking about the Dash 3, the, the painted up belted litter mate or whatever. And boy, they're, they're fit from the same mold just in terms of that look and that body shape I think is extremely good. Uh, this one maybe isn't just as freaky about her look up front, but I think the combination guilt uh, uh, for rib and body and length of hip, uh, lots of good things working in this guilt here. Yeah, just like a, a, a straight up good blue one, if you will, and I guess it really doesn't matter what color she is, but from a blue mass perspective or a blue color pattern uh, she's got the right amount of blue on her uh, I'm starting to think I'm starting to realize what you were saying earlier I mean their color pattern is is very very good it's striking uh, you know she doesn't look like a common blue one but she looks like an extra special blue one that uh, you know balance build height to length ratio all checks out stoutness of feature squareness of hind leg as she goes to the surface I think just a very solid one that is very feedable all the way to end point yeah, we talk about skeleton and just how their blade sits in, and boy, that one's pushed back and her knees in her right. Uh, lots of quality there from a standpoint of just agility and range of motion. That one checks the boxes for me, too. Uh, 83.6, an awesome litter once again.